Did the guy has a disconnect. You asked for it. Oh, nice. I will fight with honor. What's your mulligan? Hydral exist, and that's it. Yeah, Fincha is a close call, to be honest. But since it's very often Secret Mage, and Fincha might be a little bit too slow against Secret Mage, I don't keep Fincha here. Also, sometimes when he has a secret out and you're not sure if it's Mirror Entity, Fincha is sometimes weird to play, even though if it's not a strong minion for him, it's still sometimes annoying to give him a 2 4 stealth. Oh, that is very interesting. Very, very interesting. Haven't seen that card in a while. I would do eye for an eye, honestly, but... I have against open the way gate, that's probably not that important because he okay. has two turns right to kill you if he actually manages to pull out mm -hmm. that combo mm -hmm. so then yeah. it's probably not that that impressive to get a one extra point of damage probably so okay. but it's really close i think i would go for the redemption okay let's do it and redemption obviously over noble sacrifice because redemption is usually giving you something better than two damage to a minion does he run doomsayer speak to me. um well we will figure that out right <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm uh, not sure what? i mean I, I don't know how open the way gate decks look these days you can always go to hearthstoneReplay.net and check if you find some open the way gate uh, deck, but I don't think we are going proceed. to find. <laughs> Would I want to do War Leader or and take his um, uh, what's his name? I forgot. Echo Light of Pain. Yeah, should I take his Echo Light of Pain out with what's, uh, what's the alternative? What's the alternative? Uh, Stonehill, but I'm not. Why so is not... Stonehill terrible? Uh, he's gonna pull out another card. That's yeah, right. right. A lot of cards, right? So I think we play the wall leader. And take him out. Yeah, let's take that echo light. Yeah. Okay. Because in essence, for this guy to win, his goal is to draw all of his cards. I mean, that's what I've noticed. At yeah, least. that's true. That's true. Uh... I I only see Stonehill with maybe the Redemption. No, not even Redemption. Stonehill. I don't see anything else. Let's play Stonehill. Go from there. See what we get. Uh, I would do Grim. Yeah, Gr Grim Street. Yeah, let's go Grim Street. I agree. We just want to pressure him. We attack, and... obviously, and I think there's not really a reason to save the uh, redemption. Oh, don't save it? Okay. No, I don't see a reason. Like, counter spell is obviously a reason, but we don't even know if he runs counter spell, right? So, I don't think that's enough consideration here. Okay, now this is a little bit scary because... Is it? I, I, I've seen them run Mirror Entity, actually. Yeah, but is Finja that strong? Uh, does does he run many Murlocs? Nah, it's, yeah, it's gonna be yeah, trash. That's ju Where do you place Finja? I don't. I didn't think it was relevant. It is relevant, I would say. Definitely relevant against his deck because he will have a lot of spell generating cards. Oh, he has the um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot that one. I would say side. No, I would say put it in the middle. But if he has the... I don't oh, no, think no, no. we are attacking with Finja next turn. It's just to play around Cone of Cold. Because he... He obviously has a lot of cards that generate spells, right? So I think he has a high chance of somehow producing a Cone of Cold, right? Oh, For instance, with Cabalist Tome, something like that. It, or it, with... It. Um, with... 
what's the other card's name? The the new one, the glyph. Primordial the glyph. Oh yeah. Primordial yeah. glyph. That's a card to also um consider, right? So Yes. Oh, I, it, for me, well, we got it, it can be counter spell, ice block, mana bind, spell bender. Yeah. I would think it's unlikely, but that would be kind of crazy if I threw my steed. That would be really bad. Yeah, that is true. Do mm. I want, do I want to do consecrate? Nah, I, I I don't really know. I would probably do hero power, and that's it. I think it's very likely just ice block, and I would just go for spike steed non the nonetheless. Yes. Mm, Where? I think so. Hydrologist. Yeah, on the hydrologist. Yeah. Oh, it's mana bind. Wow. Okay. I would not attack with Finja. I think. Yeah, I don't think so. I would not. Two damage is probably not not that relevant. Interesting. So ah, he runs mana bind to actually trigger the. Or to, to give him an extra spell for the open the way gate. I like that idea. I had no idea. Oh, yeah, see what you And saying. obviously, we gave him a free Spike Trick Steed, which is quite powerful. But giving him a free Consecration is also quite powerful for him. So. Yes. So maybe it was actually now, after I see how this worked out, it was probably right to keep the Redemption as okay. something yes. to trigger yes. potential secrets. But I had no idea that. About the deck list, so okay. Well, I also yeah. learned something here, right? Yeah, we learned uh, with this guy. That's good. Yeah. Uh oh. It's not that terrible. Uh, I would throw my. Protector yeah. between the hydrologist and the Finja. Hmm. I'm debating a little bit here putting it onto the onto the one two because of the redemption. We don't want to get that one with a redemption, and it's also a little bit better meteor placement, I would say. Okay. I think because of meteor. And because of the redemption, I would actually buff the one two here, but it's really close. I think yeah, I, I, I think the six health minion, the hydrologist, can take some AOE, right? And the others cannot really take AOE. Yes. So, but it's really close. It's very close. I have to I, I say. I see what you're saying. Because the four damage minion is also more valuable for us, right? Because it deals four damage to his face. But I don't think he can kill that efficiently. And if he kills it, at least we get. A 2-1 from the Redemption and a 2-6 from the Spike Rick Steed, right? So. Uh, okay, so if he plays uh, the Steed, it's really easy for us to uh, take out the Death Rattle with a Kodo. That's true. That's really nice, right? Yes, but my question is, would we want to save the Kodo for a, Deuce, a Doomsayer? That's, that's a very good question. Not sure yet. Okay. He, he did a lot of this turn. Mm -hmm. I feel compelled to use the steed. I would... Okay, right in my mind. Mm -hmm. Right now I see... Hydrologist go... Yeah, uh, I like the steed a lot also. Follow up with her uh, steed on uh, Finza. Yeah. I like it a lot. Let's do that. Get some extra Murlocs out. And get some extra Death Rattle, right? We want to have Death Rattles against AoE. Oh man, is that, that, that had played my Murloc? No, I don't think so. No. Okay. I don't think so. I think we just hero power here. And that's it? Mm. Trade? Yeah, let's trade. Let's empty the board actually a little bit. 
It's mainly for emptying the board. We don't want that card to be on the board. We want to be yeah. able to play minions. Let's say he plays Frost Nova Doomsayer. We want to be able to play the Kodo, right? Understood. But if, even the Kodo, that would be at the 50-50 though. I yes, assume. I would still go for that 50-50, probably. Oh, well, yeah, I can see what you're saying. It's like, let it spin. <laughs> All right. Oh man, he's 5-6. Wow, that's pretty good. He's almost there. But I don't think he can really use it anyways. Yeah, I don't think that that's likely. That's true. There's the Frost Nova, though. Huh, I'm surprised. I'm surprised he played the Elemental. Do you think he has more Elementals? No. I would mm, doubt it. Where did... No, that came from the from the card he has, right? From that, from that other card. Oh, oh yes. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember now. My bad. I remember. Uh... Let me think. Hmm. Are uh, Are you thinking Tyrion? Concentration. Consecration. Consecration doesn't really do with that much, right? I could do Consecration in uh, two silver, but the, no, no, it's, an not, option. it's not super, it's, it's okay. It's an option. Definitely a, an option to consider. What I don't like with Tyrion is that when he goes for... But he didn't play Doomsayer last turn. I think we should actually develop Tyrion because he didn't play Doomsayer this turn. He would have played Doomsayer this turn if on he the, had it right. All the way on the right is okay? All, uh, the, all, all the way on the right, yeah. All the way on the right. Just because Cone of Cold, right? Yes. Oh my god, this board's crazy, but he has so many ways to play. Yeah. It's okay. It's not really won yet the game, right? But oh, to no, be no. fair, Tyrion is another protection against potential Arcane Giants, oh, right? Oh man, uh, I have some news for you. The first Nova was uh, pulled from the Glyph. I know, I know. Oh, okay. He probably has more Novas there, but if he baited us here to play Tyrion first, then congratulations, that was really well played. If he, if he actually saved that Doomsayer, or if he top decks that Doomsayer here and has it now, I'm really surprised. And we still have the Kodo in case, right? So... Yes. No, it seems we're good. I think we're yeah, in the clear. it seems all right. You are on fire. Seems we are all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, there's so much happening here. Uh, I'd say... Uh, this, uh, I think I need help on this one. Yeah, well, let's start to figure out what secrets are doing, right? Let's trade the 1-1 one, one into the 2-1. I think that's always going to happen. Yes, I thought that was the easiest. Okay. Yeah, now probably send a 2-6. No, wait, send a 2-3 into his face. I think we never need the 2-3. Let's see what's happening there. Oh, we're Nothing. Going to uh, how much damage do we have then? This is 18, so we can proc him. I think we should do that. Um, face? What, what does attack, that mean? attack with the big guys, with the six guys to his face. Tyrion? Yeah, with Tyrion and the other six attack guy. And now attack with uh, Finja, his face. And now with the one, two. Okay. And now with a 2-6. And now I would probably play Consecration to trigger a potential counter spell or something like that. It might be Mana Bind, but... Oh, it's wow. not even. Okay. So we kind of know that the Spellbender, Mirror Entity or Potion of Polymorph. So whatever is there. <laughs> I mean, I mean, right now they're not going to be helping him. No, the minions are not that important. I think it was quite safe to ignore the minions.
Do you... Okay, for me, I would want to do Consecrate, just in case if he played the uh, Ice Barrier. We can trigger anyway if it is Ice Barrier, right? Is it? I don't remember. It's I eight. It only... If it is Ice Barrier, it's eight. We have much more than eight, right? Just attack phase with the weapon, probably. Doesn't even really matter. Mm. So there's an additional ice block. Doesn't matter who. I would probably uh, use the blessing of kings to figure out. Well, there's not much going on, right? Um, we can no, actually we can actually play the Murloc tide tide caller. Doesn't even matter if we need to trigger that secret. Yeah, that might matter. Let's trigger the secret with the Murloc tide caller. But it's really a little bit complicated here. I'm also not quite sure. But this oh, it's spell spellbender. Vendor. Okay, all right. So then I would probably use the two Murlocs to kill. That. No, I, yeah, let's let's use the two Murlocs to kill that guy. Mm, I would probably not have even generated that guy, but I don't think it matters that much. It's all about if he has another ice block here. We have oh yeah, desperate. Well, there are probably some cards in his deck that can generate ice block, right? Oh, nice. Yeah, that's GG. You see it, right? Yes. Yeah. Well played. Good job, we made it. We figured it out, the secret. But it's quite tough. You need a lot of experience with the secrets. And especially in a coaching session, I don't have the time um, to explain you why I'm playing what. Because with the secrets, it's really like, wow, you... Basically, with a good concept for the secrets is that you... Uh, check quickly which secrets you can check without having any disadvantage, right? So for instance, yes. attacking. If attacking is possible, just attack right away and check right. if something happens or not. If you can cast a cheap spell like a secret, cast a cheap spell like a secret. If it's, if it's not ruining your, your game turn completely. And sometimes you have to take the, the difficult decision. Like sometimes you're like, okay, if it's not exactly Merle Entity, I'm going to win the game because I can play Tyrion Fall Rain or something like that, you know? And then it, when it's exactly Merle Entity, you just lose or something like that, you know? Sometimes you have to, you have to take the bet that it's not exactly that one secret that completely ruins your turn. Got it. I will command the light. I will keep everything. Yep. Tight color or inquisitor? I'm how not how do you decide that? I mean, obviously, the tech caller is going to keep on getting value every time I play him. So yeah. it's also better for trading, right? Hmm. Okay. Because the tech caller actually has a chance to kill something next turn, right? And the uh, Wild oh, yes, Inquisitor yes. only kills something if we exactly top deck uh, the Rock Pool Hunter. Ooh, double tech caller. Okay, so uh, I would do Hydrologist and then trade the my minion. Uh, I disagree. Okay. Oh. Do have, you have the chance to completely clear his board, to negate his coin, and to negate the, the chance of him buffing with the Rockpool Hunter here. So I think we should use that. So I would go for Blue Gale Warrior. I'll show you my play. 
I would go for blue oh, girl warrior. Oh, I see what you say. Send the blue girl into the 2 2 and go for the value trade with our 2 1. Because he can never have. He, this is the mirror matchup, right? He can never oh, have one yes, damage right yes, now. Yes, yes. And he can also never buff with the rock pool hunter, right? We don't know if he has it, right? But buffing with the rock pool hunter is just really great, right? So. Obviously, yes, definitely. Oh, that's quite nice. So we are still having the board advantage. Uh, hydrologist. Mm, there's a small consideration to go for Wildfin Inquisitor and Hero Power. Let's think about it a little bit. I'm not 100% sure. A good play okay. he can make like is Alder Peacekeeper or the Murloc War Leader, right? What are we doing against Murloc War Leader? It's a little bit annoying. Yeah. Hmm. No, I think with this hand, we don't really have a good next turn play. I really like the Wildfin Inquisitor and the uh, Hero Power. Because next turn it's looking really awkward, right? The best thing we have is Consecration. And when we play it like this, next turn we could go for Hydrologist and Hero Power as well, if that fits. But we're gonna pull. And for uh, for paladin, for paladin, you have to remember, your one ones are really hard for him to deal with. Mm. Gentle mega sword. Oh, and, okay too. Well, that works also. Uh, tra uh, two silver and yep. uh, take his minion. Yep. Oh. Oh wow, that's unfortunate for him. Yeah, very unfortunate. Okay, so I would do <clears throat> a really good scenario would be Hero Power, Inquisitor, Hero Power. It's nice and spread. Um, or I could do Hydrologist and Hero Power. Uh, and possibly the secret. I really like to develop the Wildfin here. We always use the weapon to kill his 5 4, right? Oh yes, yes. That's always going to happen, so you can always do that. And the minions always attack face, we have no chance to buff them. I, I think I really like the Wildfin play here you mentioned. Uh, hero power, spread. Wildfin, hero power. Okay. I think I really like that a lot. It, it would be incredible if we had the uh, gentle mess me yeah. mega sword. I really like it because we still don't have any good play next turn, right? So that's yes. why I prefer it. And you can not really get too many Murlocs, right? It's very hard. <laughs> I would want to, yeah, play a, a Yeah, a that's really fine with me, right? He, and you have to realize that he he really wants to use the Consecration here. And against the Hydrologist, he would have also used the Consecration. Yes. Yeah, Steed. Steed, Steed no, no question. No question to ask. Steed, so good. And it might be going to be game over for him. Bah. I think well, it's game over for him since turn three or something like that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, <laughs> he could have. Uh... There's still small comeback chances. Small, like uh, some keeper. That would have been a little bit okay for him. Oh, that's kind nah, of this is not too terrible actually for him. <clears throat> uh, we have a sun keeper, but that doesn't really help us that much, right? Uh, hydrologist. Yeah, let's go for hydrologist. Pull, uh... Where is it? Ah, we didn't pull it. You wanted to redeem a uh, noble sack, right? Yes, that would have been really good. Yeah. Uh, the Kodo probably get some value. Uh, yeah. Even now, it's not gonna be that good. It's gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be okay because it's we, probably we the best get... card you can pick in the mirror matchup still. The Repentance and the iPhone and I just don't do that all that much. So let's go for the Kodo. And the power. Yeah, 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 let's see. Do we want to play around? I think we, wait. I think we actually want to play around Spike Rick Steed. Consecration then. Yeah, let's go Consecration. Because Spike Rick Steed is so annoying because then his minion goes up yes. to 7 attack. That's the main reason why I would play around Spike Rick Steed here. Let's play okay. the Kodo. Yeah. 
Because if he gets the uh, increases there, we can still uh, play five of our uh, crystals by spreading apart, spreading. Oh uh, man. He has the steed now. But oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's all right. We have many ways. We can we can go for Tarim. We can go for Lay on Hands. I don't think it matters that much. We probably can go safely for Tarim right now. Make a guy first. Then we go Tarim and just do the value trades. Mm, yes. It doesn't really matter which one. I would keep the, the taunt alive, right? For consecration, and in case he runs that primordial drake, which I doubt, but oh, actually, oh, wow, eat of secrets tact. That's kind of awkward. Yeah, but it's I, not that's, good. Yeah, I don't think that's good it's, at all, actually. No, it's not good. Because even with the maids, it's like we don't really have a problem. We can deal with the maids, so it's like why, why bother? What do we have? We got nine, nine, three, nine, eleven damage plus four, fifteen. Um, yeah, almost lethal, right? Yeah. Um, honestly, I was thinking of uh, just uh, lay of hands, just to. Yeah, I don't think it matters that much. Am I going face? I also don't think that matters that much. Play, yeah. Uh, we can play Peacekeeper and True Silver and Hero Power, or we can play Lay on Hands. I think it's already one. You can choose. I would la If I would Lay on Hands, I would Lay on Hands the 3 1, by the way, not my face. Okay. And. Hero power, uh, peacekeeper also would happen for me. And if I peacekeeper, I definitely ignore the three Am five. I face? Yeah, yeah, let's go face. No let's steeds. Go. All face, all face, and play the peacekeeper. No, he played the play steed him? already. Yeah, yeah, play the peacekeeper. Why not? Oh. But it doesn't really matter if you didn't manage to put it out. I think you were a little bit too nervous about this turn. I think the game was won long time ago. <laughs> Even if he manages to stay alive here, we still have that lay on hands refill, right? So it doesn't matter at all. Okay, how do we go around this? I, I see how the peacekeeper would have uh, actually helped us right here. Not too much, I would say, but. Because I have one more person to go in with. Yeah, sure. The extra 3 3 is amazing, right? Yeah. So, okay, so let's start with the 1-1 one, one into... The 1-1 one, one goes into the Divine Shield, right? Let's see how many health points he's getting. And then we send Terrin probably. And then I we think have... it's lethal, no? Yeah, it's lethal, right? It's lethal. With the, the Rock Pool Hunter, is still lethal, right? Mm -hmm. No, like that... Uh, I, yeah, I, I it, yeah, it, it's... Yeah, it doesn't matter if you send the Terrium there or one of the Murlocs. It's always lethal, you're right. Oh no, you just oh, missed shit. it. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. <laughs> you oh saw it, God. you saw it. Yeah. Oh, I would have played minions, I would have not drawn here. Oh. I would definitely play minions. Okay, well, yeah, that's my bad. Uh, but I don't think it it absolutely doesn't matter here, right? You're just it a little bit nervous and over analyzing too much. It doesn't matter, but this is the thing that uh in other games it could have mattered. That's the thing. Maybe, uh but Oh, I thought. You're like, yeah, I'm back in the game. That's okay. But you saw the lethal, right? <laughs> so if you just do the technical misplay, well, you're human, right? Mistakes can happen. Oh man, it's so silly.